Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Quad V live from Beijing for MSI's Beat It 2010. We are actually not quite ready yet because no one's moving on the server. So I guess we're having some team talks and some huddles and some some man loving um, upstairs as uh, we have work still to be done. Irikanji, your thoughts on map one? Uh, really well played by Fnatic. Uh, obviously got some little bit to start there but came back finish strong they're actually going to be starting on the T side of this map so they may have to um, a little bit have a little bit more of the same because it is very possible they could get down big here early this is a very CT sided map obviously but uh, we'll have to see how it goes I would expect probably a, um, a score line something along the lines of maybe 16 to 9 Fnatic um, could be a bit closer seeing as they'll be starting on the tougher side it's kind of tough to tell until we see how these pistol rounds go Got another three, eh? but I'm not quite alive. We're gonna have another three roof starts just to just to make sure. Now it's an interesting setup here. You know, this is a map where that knife round is oh so crucial. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be starting off on the T. Uh, but at the same time, if you have a good T half, then you really don't have too much pressure on you coming into that CT side. So it can work in your favor. Almost kind of like baseball, you you want to be the home team. You want to bat last. So in, in a sense, you you bat last if you start on the T side. Assuming you don't get down too, too big, it can kind of be nice when you come into that second half feeling that you're kind of playing the easy mode. I did not know that about baseball, that you wanted to bat last. Yes, you do. The home team bats last. Really? Yeah. Is that because if the home team don't bat last, they don't get to play the type of thing? Well, I, <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, what, I was, what I was trying to think is, what I was sorry, I was, while you asked that, I was trying to think in, in PKs and football since... That is all that you apparently live for and follow in your life. Is it that you I live and follow you, sir. Around the world I've well, been casting your sorry ass. Yes, well. You in the millions, I would say. But do you wanna take do you wanna take the first PK to put the pressure on them or do you wanna be able to always feel like you can save yourself with the second PK? The last PK in the session. I think that really depends on the guy you are. I disagree. I think that is known as <laughs> Do you wanna get drunk and then uh, Urinate over your team's uh, luggage. Well, that's what happened to this man. The things I tell him in confidence, folks. Confidence? There was, no, there was no contract signed. Oh, well. A mistaken verbal agreement, I would say. Actually, your teammate came on, sat down, and said it. Pretty I much unprompted. When the I moment you, you know left you the room, there's video the evidence. The French are just impossible. That's what happened to them in complexity, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the truth, the lies, the sex, the drugs will be revealed all on Quad V tomorrow. Eric Kanchi has, pr has promised us an all ho no holes barred interview. We're live here, though, for Lions versus Fnatic, which may be what you actually tuned in for, rather than kind of uh, uh, Warzone 101. <laughs> Let's see what we have here from Fnatic. Kind of a slow strat. Kind of hold, see if there's any crazy pushes from Lions. Looks like both teams kind of waiting back, feeling each other out, seeing what's up. Although the bomb is moving first into the Ivy here on the hands of Patrick Forrest. Lindbergh, last name, finally got that, came to me. First frag comes in from Nico, and uh, DSN will level things back up as Crystal goes down. Now quickly to the bomb goes uh, Forrest, and uh, it will be Nico to get himself a second frag, but he's been down by DSN. And uh, now we'll see what uh, the three men coming from the back can do to save that bomb. One frag comes in from DSN. Can he get another one? But he's darting around like a like a dancer. Bomb defused, insta defused there, and the Lions pick up round one. And, uh, well, what do you make of that? I think maybe Fnatic was trying to do some sort of interfake there, but Karin got picked off so quickly that the, uh, the round kind of went downhill pretty quickly for him. Uh, nice try on the recovery. Good bomb plan, so not too bad the money situation. I would expect probably a full save this round and a, uh, a buy to follow in the third. Well, in through the white hallways go Fnatic. I would say this is easily the map that is the worst to try to eco on. It's virtually impossible to get the bomb down in. It's quite a headache running into the nades and the cold spray. I'm second man. Fnatic may prove me wrong. They make a relatively clean entry into that uh, uh, inner site, but once they're in, they then get slaughtered. 
get right, uh, does get one frag back up for them, but that'll be the only resistance. And uh, it'll be two rounds to nil in favor of the Lions. What do Fnatic do? Let's get right past them somehow. Oh, you're using the mouse at the same <laughs> time as I am. Trying to cover for you there. Yeah, we do have a buy round, some good spawns for Fnatic. Potentially a rusher. And what's your target going into this map? How many rounds do you think you can take on T we've got a game on? I would say four to five is, is what you, you need, and then you know six to seven is what you want. Anything above that is just uh, icing on the cake, so to speak. And is that realistic that you're going to get six to seven? It's rare that you see T's pick up that. Well, I, I think the average is, is more along the lines of four to five, which is kind of where you, where you want to be. Uh, but six to seven is tough, especially if you don't win the uh, first pistol round. Forest and DSN have got themselves some frags, and we look like we may be finding one of those four or fives. Nico, though, starts the recovery with the frag onto uh, Forest. Doesn't work for him, and going into the Z hallways is uh, Get Right. Smelling Swedish blood. That is not able to get it onto Crystal, but the round is won, and the Lions have uh, been tamed by uh, Fnatic, and they were at 2-1. And that's the second time this match that Fnatic have uh, nullified a pistol. Extremely important round there. I would expect that's going to force the Lions to potentially save here. Um, only one save to be in order, I would presume. But a, uh, a big round from Fnatic there kind of eases the pain of losing that all-important pistol round. Um, kind of gives you a chance to kind of lay back, be a little bit more confident, and get some momentum in your favor here during this anti-eco. So 2-1 the score. Score update coming from the uh, stage match, which easy. Tyloo is that my internet is slow. And uh, I can't tell you at the moment. But here we go, Fnatic going inside and uh, now poke their head around into that site. So that shot's come across from Nico, but he gets himself denied by Gux. And uh, Get Right gets uh, in on the action. And, uh, now Fnatic, you know there's uh, more players in here and they get two of them. One man left standing before Fnatic can tie us up. Um, it is. Uh, 2-2 the score here, and over in the EG game, EG are up eight rounds to three over Tai Lu. Yeah, and I believe EG actually started on the T side of Nuke, which is the uh, presumed tough side, so good start for the Americans there. Makes me a bit happy, my fellow countrymen, now that I'm not rivals on complexity. Fnatic are... Uh, Gonna come in towards this uh, B train yard, but uh, going down on the other side, one of those Fnatic players found resistance. Popping up on the top of the middle train is uh, Gux, forcing the uh, retreat of uh, one more. It's going to be Fiat now on the back of the bomb train, looking across the top. Definitely saw someone as uh, Gux gets himself a frag onto exit, and Fnatic really, really making a game of this for the Lions. Three frags to the, uh, them as uh, DSN claims two. Threat's going to have to make the recovery of all recoveries. He's the last man standing against five fully armed Swedes. And, uh, well, I'm sure I said a few minutes ago, no one gets five or six rounds. But uh, Fnatic are uh, racing towards it. They have started this one as if there is no CT bias. Yeah, they did a 2-2-1 two, two, split on the outside bomb site with uh, one player putting pressure on inner. Makes it extremely tough for the CTs to, uh, to kind of read and adapt to that, um, especially, you know, in the case of it's a rush. But uh, another good round from Fnatic, another impressive round. Um, virtually took out the side with only four members, so really well done by them. Oh, and Threat will be annoyed that he wasn't able to get away from that one with his gun intact. But three straight rounds to Fnatic, and uh, the Lions are really in, tr in trouble here. Save again. This is almost a uh, one step forward, two steps back kind of thing. Good start to uh, Dust2 and a good start also here on train. But Fnatic has just rallied back fast and really kind of put that put that momentum back in there. But losing four out of the opening six on train is just unacceptable. Um, Especially if after you take the pistol, it's just it's so demoralizing as a CT. You want to be able to start getting that momentum and capitalizing and getting those ops on the outside uh, bomb site. They just haven't been able to do that. Uh, threat coming down from behind, perhaps on the train. He could, he could be a real uh, poser, but he's going to go the long way around, in fact. And uh, the Lions are uh, going to converge and come from behind. This is 
isn't really a strat that's going to deliver you a map win. It might deliver you a few exit kills, but do that at the moment. Get right gets himself the frag, and Forrest has uh, finished off the round, and we're at four-two. And this is bad from the Lions. They need a change of fortune. Yeah, I'd expect to see an op here, uh, presumably in the hands of Crystal. I, as I say that, he pulls out an M4 to make me look stupid in front of everybody. Uh, maybe not enough money in the bank for any of the players, but they definitely need to get some ops in their hands if they want to bring this side, this, this half back into a uh, just, uh, respect. I mean, they did have an AWP on their last buy round. It just was dead before they could use it. Mm -hmm. Good um, smokes and flashes really pushed them back. Go get right gets the first frag onto threatened. The opening entry frag going into that A train yard has come too easily. Fnatic has really had free reign going into this top, uh, into this lower site. Crystal connects so onto frag onto DSN. There's Nico with the AWP and Khan goes down. And once they're in, it's been less easy. As uh, Forrest tries to make his way over towards the bomb train, does do so. He's putting the code in now and arms. Bomb down. Fiat gets himself a, an AWP frag or two and this leaves Forrest on his own and dead. Two AWPs uh, combining and we're at uh, four rounds to three but Fnatic with uh, should have enough money to buy on this one. Have we got that bomb down? Yeah I think so. I think they'll be able to buy but the uh, the two up setup did work out really well for Lions even though I had expected Crystal to be the AWPer. Um, Nico and Furt really picked up the slack there. Uh, even with Fnatic getting that entry, they were able to retake quite easily um, with the ops picking them off at long range. So good stuff by them. I would expect you'll see probably one op outside, one op inside, um, doing their best to kind of disrupt Fnatic. And if any of the Fnatic players get a bit sloppy, uh, pick them off before they even know what hit them. The Lions need to win the remaining eight rounds, really, to go in at the halftime with a, with a buoyant score that they can turn around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Because Fnatic are not going to be charitable on their uh, defense. Yeah, at this point, you're just kind of banking on that, uh, that second half pistol round as well, which is always uh, a bit tough on the T side. Nico collects himself the uh, frag. Forrest is uh, down. Sorry, Forrest has got himself the frag before being down by exit. Nico, though, uh, has got himself one more, and it looks like uh, Fnatic not going to have the. Uh, Desired effect on this round. The AWP dances around as uh, Gux gets picked off by it and get right. They know exactly where he is and they close the net. And we're at 4 4 here and it's more like it from the Lions. Yeah, some good AWP play there. Uh, really good trading frags from the CTs to always keep the round in their favor. And really, Fnatic didn't really have too much of a chance there. Kept getting picked off one by one, trying to take the outer bomb site. EG are homing in on the final here with a 10 to 3 scoreline in their game against Tyloo. Fiat has uh, taken some damage. Was that left over from the last round? Yes, it is. Um, and here we go with uh, Khan. Leading from the top, Gux gets himself a frag on Exit. And now a second one from Gux, who's been awesome today. And it's going to be uh, Fiat, who's going to have to hold down the fort at the back of that train with the AWP, but is not going to get past Gux's hat trick frag. And that leaves who left? It is uh, Threat to come around the front of the bomb train, get one, but. Gux gets his fourth frag, and that is 5-4. Fnatic steamrolling away in this one. They shouldn't be having this much luck on, uh, or not, not luck, but shouldn't be having this much success on uh, train offense. Yeah, a good delayed strat there. A uh, little bit of delayed rush, get your smokes and flashes down to, to disrupt the offers and then just go to work with some good AK headshots. Speaking of good shots, that is Forrest onto Crystal. Get right gets one back. Forrest down well by Fiat before Fiat is plucked out of the sky by Get Right. Uh, you know, look around the back of the train for Threat and find him. And that's six rounds to four, five to go. Fnatic are really, really charging here. Yeah, Lions have got to do all they can to keep this within reach. You really can't let the let the T's get anywhere near nine or ten rounds. It makes it a uh, almost impossible uh, mountain to overcome in the second half. So I would expect them to keep with the keep with the two ops and. Uh, you know, try to have some success with that. Slow down Fnatic any way they can. Lions from yesterday were flawless. Won their group, took first place. Would have been thinking, who would have gone to sleep last night thinking anyone's uh, game, but against Fnatic, their compatriots, they just don't seem to quite have it. Yeah, it, it seems almost a bit unfair that Fnatic got to 
fucking play all day. Um, and he kind of throw lines into a, uh, a bit of a situation where he can play cool. But that, that's, you know, that's the top team. So, Ryan's right. had a good hour on the PCs before they played. Yeah, yeah, it's that, and I think it's that they, you know, by winning the group, you would expect not to play Fnatic. Um, yeah. So that's also a bit unlucky that uh, Tyloo handedly um, took down Fnatic on uh, Nuke yesterday, but that's the way it goes, so um, can't really do too much about it after the fact. So Get right will poke his head in. There's, uh, there's Threat picking up one frag, and Get right is set. Through. There's that famous power from Exit. It, Fnatic have uh, been rudely awoken here in this round to the uh, noise of that famous, and it's done all the damage needed. It leaves Get Right left on his own. It's a one man escapes him at the back of that train. Now going up the top. Good shot from Get Right onto Fit, but Get Right is uh, sticking out like a sore thumb at the moment. And that'll uh, be Get Right. Didn't even see the clock ticking away there, and uh, get right will get away with his weapon at least, but 6-4 the score. Yeah, some extremely smart play from Exist there. Stayed at home even when Fnatic faked dinner. And actually killed a few T's while I believe another guy was camping over Pop Dog, so uh, maybe a bit lucky, but definitely um, definitely well played from him. 6-5 the score. Fnatic in control. No one could have done the damage on the uh, harder side. Get right. Gets himself the frag onto Feared, and well, it's hard to say with Get Right looking at his best because he always does. But Crystal does return the frag, and Get Right gets himself another frag. So he makes his way now towards the back of the bomb site. This guy just it takes an orc to stop him, but Fnatic have got then have got real power in their attack when they go quickly and Get Right lands that entry frag. There's nothing that's going to stop that steamroller going in. And you saw that there, seven five the score. Not long to go in this half, just three rounds, and there must be alarm bells going off on that blind side. I mean, it, it, it's really, you almost don't even know what to say because they've, they've tried different setups. They've tried passive, aggressive, ops, full colts. It just nothing has worked against the Fnatic attack, so it, 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 I, you know, it's, it's hard to even suggest something as a strat caller. Not to mention you may have some inner team bickering you know, on deciding exactly what to do since virtually everything you've tried has, has blown up in your face. From a f oh, here we go, Khan and Get Right get themselves to frag and Exit is going to have to uh, drop back into spawn. He's only got 14 points of health left. He may as well just kill himself. Picks up that AK and doesn't get past Forrest who uh, claims it. And it's 8-5. There are now two rounds left in the half. Fnatic could go in at double figures. That's an insane T-side, um, especially considering they lost the pistol um, and the following one eco round. So, And the caliber of their opponent as well. Yeah, definitely. Lions is a uh, very top team, so it's definitely hard to do what they're doing against them. So poking their head out, it's Exit that gets himself a famous frag onto uh, Guts. Two frags apiece here as Fiat gets a second one for the Lions, but then C F Fnatic continue their sandwich and it leaves Nico left. Last man standing with that M4. And uh, he uh, opens up onto DSN. He's got more work than that to do though as he's on a one versus two as he looks into CT spawn. Uh, Khan has uh, taken the bomb and is going round to that other site. And uh, who's the other one? It's Get Right already under those bomb drains and uh, in the thick of things. The only thing in uh, his favor is that neither of his opponents have much health. Khan and Get Right both in the teens. And uh, they are now one versus one. Khan, can he pick this one up? Nico's going to dance around. Good work from Nico. Picks up a one versus three to win the round and uh, save some face for the Lions. Yeah, really strong 1v3 there. A bit lucky um, that he kind of guessed right. Thought he'd get right a bit off guard, but uh, you can't doubt the skill in any of these players. They're all top players internationally, so good round. Um, could maybe start a little bit of a comeback here for Lions. 8-7, losing isn't that um, terrible, but it's, you know, something you don't normally have. Speaking of comebacks from 11-4 up at half time, EG are now only 11-9 up against Ty Lue, a 5-0 second half scoreline. Leaves them in a tricky situation. On board with Nico as he continues his fine form, getting two frags there. Get right uh, is uh, downing him and uh, getting vengeance for that last round, but 
Fiat Femis has uh, f finished off get right to the uh, claim to fame. And now Gux is uh, left in a awkward position with a man to his left he knows. He's waiting to see if anyone decides to chase him. And they do. Fiat gets the frag. And who's left? It's Forrest. And he's not standing anymore. So 8-7 the halftime score. From Fnatic's perspective, though, the game is uh, all, all almost in the bag. Yeah. Um, the pistol round's going to be big here. You definitely want to go ahead and put this away if you're Fnatic. Lions is definitely banking on this pistol round to hopefully start start to come back. It's not impossible. Um, you get the pistol, you get a few ecos, and you go from there. It's definitely easy to um, to start racking it up really quickly, especially if you don't allow Fnatic to get their money um, money up and get the ops out there. I just really think that the um, the setup the Fnatic runs with DSN opping outer and Forrest opping inner um, with Karn playing up close with rifles, it's, it's really hard to beat. Um, anywhere you go, you're getting shot from long range, you're getting shot from close range. So, um, yeah, this pistol round's going to be huge if Lions wants to make, this, make, make any kind of comeback here. Well, if you win and convert the pistol round successfully and then you take the first buy round, then there's a real game on. But those are two big ifs, and we're about to answer one of them. As uh, we are on board with the exit, it looks like they're going to charge straight into uh, the white hallways and boost him up onto the box. Opening frag comes from Gux as he uh, takes down Crystal and uh, Threat decides he's going to get out of there as well as he's no threat with 36 points of health. So Lion's task just got that little bit harder and uh, Fnatic have... Uh, Continued work to do here if they want to close this one out. Five on four. Fiat is going to push down the stairwell in towards that A train yard. As the nades come down, smoke is here. And shots start to rain in through that smoke. Fiat's made his way up towards the top of the train. Forrester gets himself another frag, and there are lions falling all over the spit, all over the shop as Fiat does get one back, claims himself a second. Forrester's down to th threat, and Get Right gets it on Fiat. They will go and get that bomb defused, and that will be the round, and the lions are an endangered species now. I guess the, uh, the only silver lining is they did get the bomb down, so I will expect again to see a third round by after a full... Um, Full echo on this next round. Once again, great play by Fnatic. Um, Fred hit a couple really nice shots there. Fnatic was still able to take the round quite easily. So, great play from them. Good rotates. Get right with an excellent flank there from behind. Really just stopping the line before they could even get started. So, score line coming in from the other game. It is now 11 all. Tyloo have won seven rounds in a row on Nuke. I was actually incorrect in my prediction. Um, they didn't save this round. They fought. Gux is taking out an AK armor quite quickly. Along with Carter and Frag as well. Why would it, what was the call to buy so early given for? What's the logic behind that? Well, you can really hurt the CT's money um, if you can win this round. I just think it's incredibly difficult um, on a map like an, on a map like a Train, excuse me. Um, but then again, you never know with Fnatic. They, they may be saving for ops in that situation. Maybe able to catch them off guard. Maybe have a guy with the USP only. Um, but it's rare to see a top team, um, you know, make a make a common common mistake like that. Lines of uh, three players coming down from Ivy. I think they're the only three left standing. As they will peek their head around the corner. It's Crystal there. He's gone, courtesy of DSN. And Crystal knows what's coming his way because DSN is lining them up one by one. As he goes around the corner, Crystal is under fire. Collects the palm, gets his way out of there, and Cux finishes it off. And kind of thinking, when's he going to die? That's a... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really personally like that call from Lions. I don't think you can really put all your eggs in one basket and send three guys one way, expecting somehow to, to get that entry versus you know, Colts that are waiting. Um, but it's their decision, and I, I, I think we'll see after this next Echo um, the round that's going to decide the match. Lions have got to do something to even kind of make this a match, that is. So. Well, it's 10-7, and it's about to become 11-7. As uh, the Lions, as you say, They've got to win a round sometime because there isn't a game on at the moment. Yeah, this is definitely the round that they need. I would expect it, it's possible to win. Uh, Fnatic hasn't lost any members with their Colts, so I wouldn't expect any ops this round. 
Um, but Fnatic is definitely winning the money game at this point, so I'm sure we'll see some ops in the very near future um, with or without a win here from Fnatic on this round. Round 7. The Lions are... down. Nade lands right on their heads. And Forrest Ulp isn't going to help them either. As uh, Fiat takes himself uh, uh, out. It's, uh, it'll be Nico now to push up the top. Nade lands just in front of him. Cullen gets himself the frag on the crystal and Nico's like, yeah, crap, all my teammates are dead. <laughs> I gotta do this all on my own. Makes his way forward with the first frag onto Khan. Poked his head around that corner. There's an orc rattling off to one side of him and he's Holding firm as best he can. But it doesn't look like the, uh, they'll be able to hold this corridor for much longer. Such a tough situation here. You really have nowhere to go. You imagine a CT is holding your flank and multiples are holding for you to peek any upper or lower flank on the side of the There it is. Bit of a noob fight there with Get Right and Nico, but a headshot ends it. And um, yeah, you got to imagine Lions is. Um, it's definitely in a uh, in a bad position here. Very tough spot to be in. Fnatic need three to win it. EG have won their first round uh, of the second half. They're up to 12. It is 12-12 in that game. Yep. We have uh, Nade coming in from Get Right, opening things up for Fnatic. Uh, now running onto the end of DSN's gun come two, three players and Get Right will finish off with a hat trick and the pair of them mow down the lion's side and there are, what, only three rounds left before it's all over for Red Lions. They're going to want to take something just to make the scoreline look more respectable. Yeah, that save gave them the, uh, the ability to get a few ops, so maybe they can do something here. Fight back against the ops of DSN and Force, as I would expect we will see. Kailu have taken the lead against EG. Pingu, Gux has got the first frag for uh, the Lions and he adds to it with another one. Forrest and DSN continue to go and it's now crystal or bust for the Lions as they make their way across. In the middle of that train yard, Get Right will be the man to finish off uh, Crystal. And I think uh, that, that look away from you there, Andrew, was a little bit of you dying inside. Well, I think it's just, it's incredibly tough, uh, especially if you're the strike car in this position because in all fairness to uh, to Threat who's calling strats, it's no matter what you pick from the bag, um, it's not going to work in my opinion. First the, uh, first the way from that explain, it's just... Uh, so why bother showing up? Well... Forrest with a fantastic orb shot. Didn't have much to aim at, but hit what he needed to. Fiat goes down as well, and before the Lions have even been able to actually mount their attack, they've only got three players left. And it's not even easy with five. This will tie us, uh, this will set Fnatic up to match point with eight of them to close out the game. The Lions come around the corner. Threat is out for the count. Nico uh, has got one, but that is the first frag in reply to five that came their way. And now we're at match point, and this is awesome stuff from Fnatic. And they're everywhere. You know, they're, they're, they're peaking Lions before they can, can get ready. They're hitting incredibly... Um, skilled shots, and they're playing great as a team. There's not much more you can say. This is this is pure domination. This half. Here we go. Fnatic up. Looking like this. Fiat will push along the back. It's going to be uh, Khan to land himself the uh, AK headshot onto Threat. And uh, here we go with the Lions coming up long from Ivy. They get themselves two entry frags, and uh, DSN is the only one that is able to answer back, and he's dead. They need to come back their way, and they lose a lot of life. And uh, Crystal and uh, Exit do get themselves to frag on to get right, running around that corner, opening up. It's Forrest versus the last man that is Crystal, and the Lions are on the board right at match point with uh, just one man left standing. They do make a stand in this game. We are at 15 rounds to eight now and uh, well it's not over yet yeah at least gotta play for some pride here um, show that you are a, a top team and um, like I said a bit unlucky to be facing Fnatic but who knows you know keep your heads in it maybe you can bring it back that's not going to help them. 
warp shot onto Crystal from uh, Forest. Takes down uh, potentially the most dangerous man on that uh, Lions team. Though Nico has been the man racking up the most frags. And uh, here we go. The uh, Lions side have yet more work to do. It's uh, Exit to pick himself up a frag though. And they're back to a four versus four before Forest AWP makes it suddenly a two on four. And uh, Get Right brings it down to a one frag to win the game. Threat is uh, just outside the Z hallways in front of that uh, B train yard bomb site. Into the hallways he goes with uh, Fnatic players swarming around all over the shop. They know where he is now. And uh, as Threat chases around the corner, Khan finishes it off to win the match and put Fnatic in the final. Hirokanji, your closing thoughts. Great play by Fnatic. Uh, really not much Lions could do there against the way that um, that, that, that uh, Fnatic was playing. Yeah, so uh, a good try, a great try even, but um, just came up a little bit short. So third place decider, here comes Lions. That's, that's been it from us uh, for this evening. We've got uh, in the other game, the uh, Tai Lu and EG has gone to a third map. Um, we can stream that for you and uh, we'll leave you off the Chinese commentary. That's on the main stage, so we'll just relay that stream for you and your viewing pleasure. But uh, we'll be back later. And tomorrow we have the finals in both games.